There were some very positive signs for the recovering economy this week. Consumer spending rose in February by the most in five months. Consumer confidence jumped unexpectedly in March. And perhaps most encouraging, home prices rose in January, an average of 8.1 percent in the top 20 cities, the fastest rate since the summer of 2006. New home sales did fall by 4.6 percent in February, but were still up by more than 12 percent from last year. And the national average price for a new home rose to nearly $247,000. We'd like to get more from Mike Aubrey. He is host of the upcoming HDTV show, Power Broker, and himself is a realtor. It's so nice to see you. Good morning. You as well. Good morning. So how is business for realtors these days? Are you feeling good? I'll tell you what, I think every realtor in the country right now couldn't feel any better. Business is absolutely blistering. And is that because of buyers or sellers? I think it's mostly because of buyers, which is driven by sellers. The fact is there's no inventory out there. Right, right now, and that is driving pricing through the roof. Well, interest rates are low, but they've been low for a long time. So, what's why is this tilted all of a sudden? Well, I think that interest rates got really, really low, and then what happened is they spiked up a little bit. And I think anybody who was a fence sitter suddenly decided maybe we're at the bottom of the mortgage market. Right. The problem is, is that what doesn't go hand in hand with those low mortgage rates is the ability to actually get the loan. Mm -hmm. Loan standards are still so ridiculously tenuous. You've, we've sort of seen that pendulum that swung in 2005 from if you could fog a mirror up, somebody would give you money to <laughs> right. if you have great credit and great assets, it's very, still very hard to get the loan right yeah. now. And for first time buyers especially, that's, that's one of the complexities of getting a new home because you need the big down payment and then you might get a good deal on the mortgage if you can get it. Exactly. They just generally drive the market. We're also seeing a lot of investors come in and buy with cash. Does that concern you at all? I mean, I think that often investors are a leading indicator to tell you whether or not a sector is going to get better. And I think when you see cash people come back into the marketplace, that makes me feel good. What's concerning me is that with the low inventory, those first time home buyers and even second home buyers who are buying principal residents, are, they're competing against cash buyers and they can't get houses right now. Right. So I hesitate to ask this of a realtor, but is this a good time to buy? <laughs> I, I mean, well, it's always a good time Gosh, to buy. Yeah. No, I, I, I mean, I think it's an incredible time to buy because we're never going to see mortgage interest rates as low as they are right now. I think that you have to be able to get the house, though. Right. I think for people who don't see houses like you might see a stock, a share of Google or something like that. For people who want to buy a house that they're going to live in, there's never been a better time. And we're buy. looking at some, some of the good places to get a deal. What are the, some of the best places to buy right now? Well, I think that those places hardest hit during the you know real estate market correction are great places to buy. Scottsdale in Arizona, Las Vegas, anywhere in South Florida. I mean, those are places where there's a lot a higher inventory than other places, albeit getting lower right now. And I think that there are incredible deals to be had. And All a right. lot of that is the foreclosure inventory. It is. And I'm I mean, that becomes another big question that's out there with regard to that foreclosure inventory is how big is the shadow inventory and when are we going to see it dump into the marketplace? All right, Mike Aubrey, thanks very much for being with us this morning. You got it. Thank you. Michael.